This is a rare case where I think an outline question is hard because the goal is not really well articulated. I think the SAT messed up here. I don't think this was a fair question. So let's look at the goal. This is how we normally would do this, right? Focus first on the question. The study wants to summarize, the student wants to summarize the study. Okay, but that can mean lots of things, right? So to me, I'm, I'm already a little confused because does it mean I summarize the method that was used to, to go to, to conduct the study? Does it mean I summarize the, the logic behind why they did the study in the first place? Do I summarize the results of the study? This is a vague question. I do not like this one. I think the SAT messed up here. But here it is on a practice test, so no choice. We got to do it anyway. Um, so let's go to the, the, the bullet points. And there's lots of things about the study, right? So in 2019, Emily Shepard and colleagues in the UK and Germany studied the effect of wind on AUK's success in landing at cliffside nesting sites. So this is summarizing the study to me, right? They studied the effect of wind. They found as wind conditions intensified, the birds needed more attempts in order to make a successful landing. Well, that's a summary of the results. So maybe that matters. I don't know. Uh, the third bullet, when the wind was still, almost 100% of landing attempts were successful. So now we're trying to maybe summarize the data. This is one data point. Then we continue. In a strong breeze, approximately 40% were successful. In near gale conditions, only around 20% were successful. So that's the. this is a summary of all of this, right? So these are the data points. And then bullet point number two is kind of taking all the data and analyzing it and giving us a conclusion. But this is why I don't like this. Is the, a Summarizing a study, there's many ways to summarize it. And I think all of these answer choices in some way capture it. So let's take a look. Choice A, for a 2019 study, researchers from the UK and Germany collected data on AUK's attempts to land at cliffside nesting sites in different wind conditions. That to me sounds like a summary, right? It's not summarizing the findings, but that was not our goal. That was not our intention. I will just tell you, I know the answer to this question. This is not the right answer, but I think that this is a perfectly valid summary. So I guess because I'm just maybe falling for a trap, um, yeah, like it's not quite doing the job of summarizing the bullet points. Maybe that's the key here is we need to, if there's a vague goal in the question, maybe we do need to just do the best job we can of summarizing the bullet points. So let's continue. When I show you the right answer, I think it'll make sense. Um, B, Emily Shepard and her colleagues wanted to know the extent to which wind affected AUK success in landing at cliffside nesting sites, so they conducted a study. This also feels like a summary, but it's a summary of like what they wanted. The, the, the reason I would not pick this choice is I can kind of tell by the end that the SAT is, is purposely like using this choice to kind of stop short and say like, oh, look, we didn't quite go as far as we needed to go. We didn't actually summarize the study. We just told you there was a study. So knowing how the SAT designs wrong answers, I would know that this is wrong. But in a way, I still think it summarizes the study or at least summarizes like the logic behind the study. Let's look at C. Knowing that auks often need multiple attempts to land at their cliffside nesting sites, Emily Shepard studied the bird's success rate, which was only around 20% in some conditions. So most of that is good, but again, I kind of know how the answer choices of wrong, I, I, how the SAT writes wrong answer choices. So the fact that they're just highlighting one data point when there were others that are just as important for understanding what's going on, uh, this tells me this is a wrong answer, right? It's too focused, too specific. Um, it's, it's, it's not capturing the other pieces of information which are relevant for understanding it. So that's going to get us to D, which supposedly is the best summary. Let's see. Emily Shepard's 2019 study of AUX, success in landing at cliffside nesting sites, showed that as wind conditions intensified, the bird success rate decreased. So this choice is the only is the only one that summarizes the results, the findings. And it does it in a way that's very similar to what it said in the bullet points. So I guess in the college board's mind, in the SAT's mind, this is the best summary because it kind of tells us what we started with, well, why we were doing this study, plus the result of the study. But the, the question does not say to talk about the findings. So in my mind, summarizing a study does not necessarily say, uh, does not mean to summarize the findings. And in fact, there are other outline questions where they do specifically tell you to summarize the findings. So the, the fact that they omitted that here is really, it bothers me because they, they were very specific about it in other places and yet they omitted it here. Um, so look, occasionally 
this always happens. I've been teaching SATs through three versions of the SAT now and for 15 years. And yeah, every once in a while, I get a question where I think the college board messed up, where they didn't do a good job of explaining what they wanted and that you can kind of argue a different way. Ultimately, you can't argue because the test has made a choice and that is the answer and that's the way it goes. And we can prove that D is better than A, mostly because if it's going to summarize, it's better to summarize, I guess, both the summary, the, the findings, the, the findings and the initial study. A is only um, summarizing the initial motivation behind the study. It is not getting into its findings and the choices or the bullet points do. So I guess we need to summarize those as well. Um, but luckily, as angry as I am about this question, this is like the only outline question that I've ever thought was hard. So most of these on most of the other practice tests are super easy and, and very uh, confidently you'll be able to get those answers. So these are easy points for you to get to improve your score most of the time. Don't let this one kind of weird one bother you.